Free to succeed. Technical difficulties edition. What a what a morning, bro. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, we're recording this episode again. Uh, I hope everybody had a good weekend, good Christmas, happy holiday season. Um, yeah, what else? What else did I say in the last one? Um, I did mention the Patreon. Uh, the way Patreon works is when you join, you you don't get charged until the following month. I, all of my account work that I do centers around my Patreon. There's links below to my Patreon and to my Discord where I break down all the tiers in my Discord because Patreon won't fix their website to display my tier perks. So you can get the information in my Discord. And then if you wanted to join uh, before this month ends, you'll get charged on January 1st, which means you'll be eligible for account work through January. Uh, so if you have any desire for me to do work in your account during streams, uh, or you just want to support me and the channel, um, information for the Patreon is down below. If you join in January, you won't be eligible until February. That's the way that works, because you could join, get account work done, and then leave before you ever get charged. And we ain't playing that game. So uh, here, you could you could join now and in a few days be eligible for account work. That's the way that'll work. Um, let's see. Uh, so what happened is OBS stopped recognizing Raid. I'll, I'll explain it to you for any of, any of my uh, fellow content creators or anybody that is playing around with OBS and, and might be interested. Um, so I set up a window capture. A window ca a, a game capture wouldn't bring up Raid anymore, so I set up a window capture. Um, and it brought Raid up, and I was like, alright, fine, this will work for now and I'll troubleshoot later. So I recorded my whole episode. What I didn't realize is that it just brought up a, a picture of Raid. It wasn't actually tracking the movement. It just loaded the bastion and then it froze in OBS. So I recorded my whole episode. You could see my mouse moving over Raid. Um, but it was always just a picture of the bastion. Weird, I don't know. But I recorded my whole episode and I drug it over into editing. Trim the ends, put my music in, put my filters on, and then I started scrolling looking for the thumbnail, and I was like, why is it all the Bastion? I wasn't in the Bastion the whole time, uh, and that's why. So, <laughs> here we are, doing it again. Uh, here's where we're at on the Fusion. We have all the epics. She is four-star maxed, fully ascended, four-star maxed, fully ascended, four-star maxed, fully ascended, five-starred, uh, and fully ascended. Just gotta get them leveled up. We have a few more days. I'm trying to chill out on how many gems I'm spending. I burned through a lot of gems doing champ uh, training, and... Fire Knight. <clears throat> we just brain farted real hard. What was I going to say? We didn't get the epic from the champ training. We didn't bother doing that. Um, it turns out I didn't need to. Between fusing the epics from the fusion. Actually, just doing that got me where I needed to be in the champ chase and actually put me up enough where I can't show you now, but it put me up enough where I was able to even get that first legendary book with a few green shards. Um, and I had to pop some green shards anyway to make some food. So it all kind of synergized perfectly. It all worked out perfectly. Uh, so now all I really need to do, I'm, I'm good on potions. All I need to do now is make enough food to get all my epic fusions five starred and then get them maxed. Uh, so it, it's still going to be a little bit tight. I am a little lower on gems than I like to be. I do still have a lot to do, but I, I feel comfortable I'm going to get it done one way or the other, uh, even if I have to just start using brews. Uh, but probably what we'll be focused on the next several days is just making a bunch of food and getting that done since we have everything we need. Uh, I also have six-star uh, food ready to roll when I decide who I want to six-star next. I'm having a little bit of trouble deciding who I want to six-star next. Part of me thinks maybe I'll get the fusion and go ahead and run the fusion up. Another part of me thinks maybe I should be thinking about somebody for this arena team that I'm working on with Sandlashed. Um, I don't really know yet. I'm, I've considered rule for Hydra. I've considered uh, a, f a few, th I have a few thoughts. <clears throat> I would be interested in knowing what you guys think. If you wanted to let me, if you wanted to uh, throw your thoughts into the mix, on who I should six start next. If you want to make a case for anybody, uh, I'm certainly open to hearing it. <clears throat> that would be interesting. But that's where we're at. Oh, so my haul from uh, Arena, we got two divine speed pieces that have uh, speed. There's a lot of potential in this one. I'm almost scared to roll it, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god, really? 
Are we getting a quad? We could still get a trip. I think I gotta see if we get the trip. I gotta know. Already though, that's a killer piece. That's killer, dude. <clears throat> I, I, I've been considering heavily, by the way, while we're talking about it, uh, building my second Ceres for that team. Bro, we got a triple on a divine speed piece. Holy cow. <laughs> wow. I thought for sure we were about to come dominate that flat attack stat. Wow, dude. That's killer. Oh, that's killer, dude. <clears throat> Oof, man, that's good, dude. Look at us hitting speed subs, bro. What is going on? Even if we just get the one there. I'm done with my coffee, because I've been here a while. <laughs> Dang, that's an upgrade, dude. So, what might be worth looking into then, if we wanted to, if, if we were super concerned with making our Arbiter faster, what do we got? 14 there. What do we got on the weapon? That's going to be hard to top right there. I don't think we're going to top the weapon. 18. Fifteen on a shield. What do we got? Sixteen on gloves. And then, so it would, it would have to be another pair of six-star boots. So not quite yet. That's all right, though. That, I mean, that's man. That's that. That could be really good on that second Ceres that I was talking about, actually. Um, or even my first Ceres. What is my first Ceres wearing, dude? That could be a big upgrade for her. She doesn't get resisted much as it is though, to be honest. I don't really have a problem with her getting resisted, but that's so much more accuracy. I... How fast is my deacon? I can't believe we rolled that triple, dude. That's, that's wild. So he's 137. She's she that'll that'll make her faster than him. We can we can save that. We need we need to put that to use though. That's that's a killer little set there. Someone someone needs that. <laughs> um We've been slowly working on leveling up our gear on our seeker as well. I'm thinking He's, he's still over 200 speed with these HP boots. I thought about putting speed boots on him. He'd get a, he'd get about 20-ish more speed because I don't have six star boots to give him. So I'm thinking I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna try him like this and if we don't like it, we can come back and fix it later. But I'm gonna see if I can get away with it with him being like this. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, we just we got to think about who we want to six star, and then Hydra. That's the thing. I keep I keep thinking like maybe I want to do Hydra, and then I'm thinking, well, if I six star rule, I could go ahead and try rule out. But it's about to reset anyway, so it's not that big of a deal, you know. Not that big of a deal. I need to save a team because I don't remember who I used last time. I don't remember what my team was last time. I, I, I imagine Duchess was part of it. I don't see why God Seeker wouldn't have been a part of it. Um, I probably I probably put Drex in here, right? Probably put Drex in there. I might have put Geo in there. And then we needed we would need some damage to so like Ninja. And then maybe someone to help us 
expedite getting buffs off like Saris. I feel like this may be similar to what we ran last time. This may be what we ran last time. It's hard to remember. I know Kimmy would be pretty nice as well. Perhaps we can try Kimmy in a, in a second team. Let's 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 make this team just in case that's who we decide we want to run. Godseeker, Saris, Geo, and who else? Drex. And let's see how they do. Let's see how they do. We'll focus you. Actually, you for now. Actually, we can hit Torment if we've got... But we need to focus ahead, right? Next to it, because obviously... There we go. Strip him, dude. I don't care. Nice. So I think as long as we can do... I think we did over... What was it? I'm trying to remember what, the, what our damage output was last time. I think we did over four with our first key. Or like four and a half, maybe. I can't remember. I know that we handily two keyed it, so I know that I know that we're going to be fine getting top chest on normal this time. And I'm not sweating that too much. <clears throat> All right, Geo's going to get eaten. I hope it's not the the mischief head that does it. That would be unfortunate. Yo, get off my- I, I, I actually kill him, yeah. Kill him so he doesn't get eaten. That'd be dope. That just can bring him right back. See, that that's the thing. It's like... That's why Hex would be such a, a, a bonus here. Because, like, now pretty much, I think I'm going to have to restart this. Until we have Hex, that, that's just... You know what I mean? I don't I don't know that it's worth even continuing at this point. I think we just regroup and we we'll start again. I mean, we'll see if we can get him back, but I think we probably cannot. If we could get up some HP burns, maybe. But they're not hitting Drex. We can't target him. <laughs> we do have HP burns up. Come on, come on. If that ticks, one more turn. You throw out a good AOE. There we go, there we go. We got him back. Okay, we can, we can keep it going for a second. At least we can target this one, huh? We gotta get to that shield too, though. We're at 2.1 right now. HP burns up.
I don't know. I don't think we're going to be able to get Ninja back, and that's going to hurt. We're going to need that damage. I think we need a better beginning. I think we need a better... Uh... I think we need the Mischief Head to not be the first one to eat one of our champs. Until we have Hex, anyway. I think he should have caught HP burn there. I'm going to be real with you about it. Yeah, we've done basically no damage since Ninja got eaten. <laughs> okay. We'll probably play around with this on stream a little more. Yeah, we're going to keep playing around with it and testing things out and seeing what we can do. We've got time. It doesn't reset, reset for a couple days, so... Well, maybe, maybe that's what we'll play around with in stream today. Um... Anyway, hopefully this episode works out. I'm going to try to get this one up soon. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a good one. Twitch.tv slash jgigs if you want to come over and hang out with us. I think probably we'll be messing around with Hydra today. So um, that's it, man. I appreciate y'all. Later. <laughs>